Mr. Truck here. We are getting back in the RV business. Not that we left it forever, but we've done a lot of horse trailers, uh, commercial trailers, and ATV trailers. Well, we're still reviewing trucks and trailers, but we've now added this toy hauler to our fleet of trailers. So we can you know, show you more things in the RV world, along with the horse trailer world, commercial world, and ATVs, recreational world. So what we're going to be putting on here is all these accessories that are my favorite. <laughs> Sway weight distributing hitch. We'll be putting that on this trader too. This is the Forest River Work and Play. It's about 27 feet long. It's got an 18 foot garage. We can put three full size ATVs in there. So you'll see a lot more videos with that. But we're going to equip it right so we're ready to go camping, go to Moab, go all these places. And from Anderson, this is called the Camper Leveler. What it is, is two edges. You drive up on one and then you scoot the other one under after you've leveled out your trailer. We're going to put that on here and show you how it works. And then we're going to go with the Anderson Jack. They have a jack. And then we're going to go to another company that has electric jack uh, that we're going to use on the trailer. So first we're going to use this. So you saw the box, now this is the product. This is the, the leveling chocks from Anderson. This is the leveling part. And this is a chalk that slides underneath it after you've moved it around and get it level with your level. So we're going to put this on two of the trailer wheels and show you how it works. And from Anderson hitches these camper levelers. This is where, where they go. They go into your tire. You can actually trim part of it if your tires are too close together. These are rated to go up to 30,000 pounds. So now we're going to set a level on the side of the trailer. We'll back them up under the wedges. We'll get it where we want it. We'll shove this under one end to make it stable. And that's all we got to do. 30,000 pounds. you got a very good system there. Quick way of leveling out your trailer. Okay, you can see how we drove over the camper levelers from, from Anderson Hitches. And that's the, the highest leveling right there. You can trim some of these if you need to, but then the wedges, after you use your level, basically have somebody driving the truck while you're running the level. So you'll back up till you get the trailer level. So you don't have to do really one side of the trailer. And now that you've got that where you want it, then these wedges that come with it, all you do is you shove them under there to where it's tight. And that's all there is to it. I'm not on level ground right here, so this one's a little trickier to get into there. But that's basically how they work. Now, if you can see where they are, you got the two pieces. This one here is in better shape, but that's where your goal is what you have there. And that's your level trader. So you have all that adjustment back and forth with the two wedges to get a level. Mr. Truck here, some exciting news. My book is finally out. I wrote this book with Andre Smirnoff of the Fast Lane Truck. It's the, the Fast Lane Truck's Guide to Pickup Trucks. And what that means is Andre talks about all the different stats in here, the different races we did, the different tests we did, climbing up the mountain with loads, doing miles per gallon with loads, doing the track with loads, all these different things uh, to help judge a truck and then pick about the best ones. He talks about future trucks. On my side, I talk about how to judge a used truck. Should you buy a new truck or a used truck? Should you buy a diesel or a gas truck? So all those things are in there. We talk about transmissions. We talk about trailers, how to get the trailer matched to your truck so it's a safe towing experience. So we talk about payload, how to figure that, gross combined weight rating, axle weight rating, tongue weight, all those different things. We talk about teenage safety when they learn to drive. So we're doing a lot of that in the book. And you can get this at all the independent stores like Tattered Cover. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on Barnes & Noble. And it's just awesome. If you want to look up Google, just go Truck Nets Book. Make sure you put book in there or you might be surprised. But buy the book. Okay, now go again. Okay, now bring them all over here to me, please. Good job. Yeah, just sit and just... Also from Anderson Hitches, another orange device called the Rapid Jack. This is the rapid jack. You can drive over this with your tires and lift the other axle up to change your tire. 
You can do this with dualies, the inside dual. You can do this with so many things. And you can use the wedge if you really need to level one side really high. You can use it as a leveling part. But we're going to use it as a jack right now, and then I'll show you what else we can do with this. It has a lot of features. This is from Anderson Hitches. Okay, this is the Rapid Jack from Anderson Hitch. It's another wedge. And you put that under your tire. Then you back up onto that. It should lift the front axle up. This is the rubber mat comes with it. If you're on a surface, you don't want anything sliding around, you can put this under your tire. They thought of everything. Now we're going to back up the trailer. Okay, film it. Whoa! Now, as you saw, this didn't quite get up high enough. This is a leaf spring with an equalizer hitch. This way here would have worked great on solid ground or a torsion axle like a horse trader. I'm going to turn it over so I can get a little more elevation. And it's made to do it either way. So I'll do it like that. I haven't used the rubber pad yet, but we will later on. Now I'm going to back over that, see if I can get up a little higher for this leaf spring configuration. I turned that over for this leaf spring suspension with an equalizer. I needed more wheel travel. So we just turned over the, the rapid jack from Anderson Hitches. And now it got high enough on this soft material. If I was on a pavement, I probably wouldn't need to turn it over. But that's very useful, very versatile, that you can use it either way for whatever kind of uh, suspension you have, whether it's a torsion axle or a leaf spring shackle system like this one does. But now I can take this tire off and change it without having to jack anything up. That's what I call saving the labor. Another thing we we'll always put on all my trailers, these fastway zip breakaway trailer cables. The normal cable, as you see, it always gets hooked on things, and I hate those. So I'm actually going to change it out. Now that, of course, locks my brakes up. I'm going to change this cable out, and we're going to put this zip tie on there from Fastway. Can you zoom in on that? Okay, I'm cutting the old cable off. I mean, if you can get them off without cutting them, that might be nice for spare. But I am going to cut this puppy off because I need to reuse the tab that goes into your breakaway, emergency breakaway tab for your brakes. And man, that is a good cable. Arrgh! Or my diagonals are not good. But that's what I do. I cut these off. If you get a whole new tab, you don't have to do that. You can buy me the way from Fastway, either with the new plastic tab or with just a key ring style so they can hook it back in there again. Oh, I'm close. Okay, now I got rid of that. Then this, as you can see, it's got a heavy duty hook, which I really like. And then you got like a key ring style. And you just put that on your plastic breakaway lever. And that will get you back in business. Doesn't take long at all. You can't zoom it in on where I'm at? Yeah. Good deal. These are well made, so they're kind of tight. Okay, and just feed that through like you do your key ring. And then, all you do is push it back in. I don't know if you can see there with the camera, but there's a little box that's wired into your brakes. That's your breakaway cable. And I'm shoving it back in. Now our brakes are okay. I can take this darn cable off. I'm going to go over on this side, so you can see me latch this. Taking the old cable out of there, and then this, this hook is so nice, you swing in there and you're ready to go. That's my favorite cable. Next thing we're going to do is we'll take off this manual crank jack, because I don't like doing manual labor. We're going to put on an ultrafab jack, this new one that they have just plugs into your truck and then it plugs into your trailer and that's where it gets electricity from your truck so you don't have to wire into a battery on your on your trailer that's really nice and that way it's not worried about batteries being down on your trailer and you plug it in and run the jack so that's what we're going to put on next we're going to take the three bolts out of this manual jack throw this thing away or take it away and then we're going to put on that new ultra fab jack electric so i'm taking these three bolts out it holds the manual jack, and that's where I'm going to put the new UltraFab electric jack. It will be a very fast install. 
Just got to take these three bolts out and not bang the propane tanks too much. This is the box that came in. This is the Ultra Jack, electric tongue jack. It's called the Ultra 3502-7. This is a high rating on it. I'm sure it's like 5,000 pounds. I'll look it up. So we have that, but that's all you do is bolt it where your jack came in. And you don't have to wire this in. It's so cool. Okay, I got the bolts out of the old jack. It just lifts up out of the hole. Take that, put it on Craigslist. And then the new jack, all powder coated and good looking. Even has a light. And all we have to do with this, slide it down in that same hole. Line up the bolts, put it together. And it comes with a bottom boot, which I really like, or bottom, uh, what do you call this? But anyway, that uh, keeps from sinking in the mud. That clips on, or you can take it off, and then use the rapid jack. I'll show you how that works. But now we just got to bolt this back on. Comes with special washers. I'm using the old bolts. Of course, brand new, brand new trailer. I'm just going to put those back on. Might want to zoom in on that so we get a good shot of it. Using these new cool washers. I probably could take the other washer off, but for now I'm going to leave them on. The one that was on the jack. Yeah, and this is too cool. And it's fast. It actually, it's got a light on each end, I guess, so you can see everything you're doing. I hope my little uh, propane tank shroud, the plastic cover for these 30 pounders, will fit through there. Sometimes it pays off to read the instructions. So I had one quarter turn off because I just light wouldn't be forward and back lights on each side of it. Gives you better light. It gives you more room for that plastic shroud on the 30 pound propane tanks. So let me rotate it. So I have the Ultra Fab jack in place. It all looks powder coated. This is a 5,000 pound jack. This trailer fully loaded at 9,800 pounds only has a 777 pound tongue weight. So this is overkill, but it's great because I have a lot of bigger trailers. I like this jack. And then your, your wiring is Velcroed on here. So you take that off, unplug your trailer, and plug in your jack. It's all right there. Same seven-way RV. Now I just got to find the button, the magic button. Oh, that's right, Ford. I forget, you shut the switch off, shut the power off, and it'll turn the switch on on the Ford. Okay. I turned the key on to the Ford. Let's see if I know what I'm doing. This comes with its own, jar, its own socket set, too. So I think of everything. It's really a simple setup here. Let's see if it works. Oh, look at that. We got power. <laughs> Now you should be able to see that jack handle going down the bottom. And I'll put this shoe on there, keep it out of the mud. I like these shoes. But also, I want to show you on the rapid hitch how this can fit into those, those holes on the rapid hitch. So let me keep going down with it. I know it's a little noisy on the camera. But oh, this is slick. A well-built jack from Ultrafab. 5,000 pound tongue weight also has an 18 inch stroke, so that's how much movement you have. And I'll show you how the rapid hitch works like a block. Okay, this rapid jack from Anderson Hitches is uh, what we just used to jack the trailer up, but it also has all these cool holes. You can see them all there to set the jack hole in. This one here is if you have a wheel on your jack, it sets there. You can use this for, you know, a block to block up the height. I went down a little too far. Let me go back up. Let's see if that'll fit it. Yeah, that is so cool. And there you go. I'm lifting the whole truck up. But that's what the the rapid jack does also works as a block, a chalk, a jack, all these things. And you can use it with a wheel on a jack. And there you go. I'm going to put the shoe on and then we'll be done with this project.
Man, I like that, not having labor. No manual labor involved. Put the shoe on just to keep it out of the mud and give it a more stable platform. Ah. And there we go. And now I'm going to lift it up where I want it. Then I'll unplug it from the truck. I can go up higher, but that's where I want to go. So there you go. That was quick. That was about a, what, a 10 minute install. You can't go any faster than that. The UltraFab 5,000 pound jack that plugs into your truck, pulls juice from your truck. You don't need to wire it into your trailer.